hello guys i hope you all are doing well in today's video we're gonna create this beautiful floating action button and then expand this and translate this other action button in this using react native reanimated so let's get started here i added fab screen in stack navigator and also added fab list item in home page all right let's move into fab page here I already created boilerplate for this page and given it some styles. Flex is one and background is dark navy blue. So first I will create fab container. Inside this I will create floating button. Create fab container and fab style. Width and height will be fab size. Border radius will be half of fab size to make it rounded circle. Justify content to center to make child element centered vertically. Align item to center to make child element centered horizontally. Now add fab size around 54. Add background color to red color. Save it. Yeah, just go back or refresh it. Alright, it is appeared. Now we'll align it in the bottom right side. In tap container style, add position to absolute. Bottom will be 20 and right also be 20. Save this. It is aligned. Okay, great. We want to reuse this circle style, so make a separate constant for it. And paste here. Now copy circle style using spread operator. Let's add icon component. Import it and add its type and its type will be evil icons. This is react native vector icon. Its name will be close, color is white and its size will be 34. Now rotate fab to 45 degree. Add transform and rotate 45 degree. So that cross icon will become plus. You can use any plus icon here. It is not necessary to use only this icon. Add touchable without feedback button and move fab view in that button. We need a state for opening and closing the fab. So add const open comma toggle equal to use reducer. So here we get a state and update it with its opposite value. Here you can see first argument is a function and second is initialization of the state. Now pass this toggle function in on press log open state now press on floating button yeah working let's add animation now here i'll use react native reanimated 2 so you can install it and configure it from its official site if you are using android platform you need to follow these configurations as shown here and after this clean and rebuild your project for ios you don't need to do anything Alright, so first we rotate this floating button. Let's add a state rotation which is animation progress by use derived value from reanimated. So its first argument is function and second argument is a dependency array. So we track open state. So whenever open state change, rotation value will also get updated. Here we will return when open is true, we rotate 0 degree, else rotate 135 degree. Let's create fab style using use animated style hook. Import it from reanimated, which is function and it return animation styles. Here I return rotation.value in rotate const. Then we have to return object from use animated style. So return object transform then square bracket and then curly braces and pass rotate the key is identical so i write it only once then we need to pass this fab style to this fab view and we need to convert this view into animated dot view so make sure to import animated from react native reanimated all right let's save and test it yeah it works but it's rotate quickly not with animation so for that we can wrap it around with timing function so it return rotation value from 0 to 1 with some delay now let's test yeah you can see it rotated with animation looks nice now we also change its background color let's add one more state progress which we will use for all animation progress 
so here when open is true we return 1 as 0 with spring animation now here we interpolate background color add const background equals interpolate color so it take three argument value input range and output range output range is the array of color string so value is progress dot value then input range is from 0 to 1 and output range is red color to dark red color now we just return background color save it yeah it works pretty well now let's create expanding circle view add animated dot view style equal styles dot expanding circle let's create styles copy circle styles add transform scale it to 8 times add background color to red now it is visible make its position to absolute and z index to minus 1 so this view stays behind of fab button all right now comment this transform and we'll do it with animation add scaling style equal use animated style hook const scale will interpolate its size so here it has same arguments with extra argument extrapolate so progress dot value then input range is from 0 to 1 and output range 0 to 8 now return object with transform scale now pass this style at here save and yeah it works nicely now let's make its styling size according to screen width const circle scale equal to width divided by fab size so it return fractional value for one precision of fractional value we'll use two fixed to one now pass this circle scale at here all right now if screen width is small such as 300 then circle size is also be small Now we'll add three action button and translate them in x and y axis. First create action button component. Add view inside this add touchable highlight. Add icon type which is evil icon. Now declare props. Add a style for action button view. Yeah, make this view to animated dot view. All right. Here add action button, first icon is calendar, its position will be absolute so add action button style, copy circle style, add background color, position is absolute, 
its index is minus 1 cause this button should be behind of this cross button it transform translate x 200 minus 100 like so we will update its x and y axis position copy this button two more time second icon is share google and third icon is gear it is hide behind the cross button all right let's create translation styles it is a function which is written animated styles const translate equals interpolate progress dot value input range is from 0 to 1 and output range is from 0 to 120 add extrapolate left extrapolate dot clamp now here return transform translate x and pass translate variable now pass this style into action button yeah this should be minus 120 yes working now you can see why I used extrapolate it is showing spring animation in both opening and closing time so we can clamp when it close Here all button is tagged so we need to change its axis. So purpose of making it function is we can control its axis from here. X for X axis and Y for Y axis and for value we have to pass translate value because it is not same for all buttons. Add condition for X and Y axis if X and Y both true. Else if only X true. Else only Y true. So for only y, it return translate y. And for both, we need to return translate x and translate y with same value. Now here pass parameters. For y axis, pass false, comma true, and value is 120. For both axis, pass true, comma true, and 120. And for x axis, pass true, comma false, and 120. Let's close and open it. Yes, you can see all three buttons translating. Here, this 120 is not correct and is static, so we need to make a dynamic value which is according to radius of the circle. Let's add correct distance between center button and this action button. Const circle size equals circle scale into fab size. and distance equals circle size divided by 2 now pass this distance in this style function and save this here you can see both first and third button are aligned correctly at the edge of the circle but middle button has gone out of the circle it should be at the edge of the circle so these two buttons distance from the center is radius of the circle so we need some basic math for blast here you can see our middle button suppose translate 10 in x axis and 10 in y axis so that went wrong to place this middle button at the edge of the circle so we need to translate it from a to b in x axis and a to f in y axis so it reach at the edge of the circle so here we need to find this distance of a and b now here we have diagonal of square which is 10 which is radius of circle so the formula of finding the diagonal of square is root 2a so here a is length of square edge so it is root 2a equal 10 and root 2 value is around 1.41 now we can calculate it and it is around 7 the same way we can find middle button distance So add const middle distance equal distance divided by root 2 which is 1.41. Alright, add this middle distance at here and save. 
perfect it is now at the edge of the circle here we need to give some padding so subtract web size and save all right all are aligned correctly so if you change the width of the screen then it will be updated and always at the correct position now we add another variable for translation copy this progress and second parameter will be spring configs now we can add stiffness in action button spring animation and also can add damping replace this translation with progress in translation styles save this it is bit slower reduce damping to 10 Mm, try it looks nice you can adjust this config according to you let's update this touchable highlight button here add underlay color to light red add a style same as action button style add default value in on press so on press will work all right working now we can do one more thing let's add a scale interpolate progress dot value input range from 0 to 1 and output range from 0 to 1 extrapolate left extrapolate dot clamp add a scale in all transforms Save it. Looks great. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. And for more such type of video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in next one. Take care and bye bye.